Listen, just I'm crying. What I do? Did I do something? She didn't do nothing. What is it? I have something I gotta tell you. I didn't just happen to be at that theater. I was paid to be there. <laughs> you were paid to be there. What are you? Theater checker? You get paid to check up on the uh, box office girls, make sure they're not ripping the place off. I'm not a theater checker. <laughs> Call girl. No, I'm a cop girl, and there's a difference, you know. Okay, here it goes. You know the place you took me to last night? The place you work? Yours for sale? You got a boss, right? Yeah. Okay, what's his name? Lance. That's him. He called the place where I work. He ordered a girl for you. He said he wanted you to get laid. See, you didn't get out much, and it was your birthday and all. He wanted me to act like I just showed up. Now, how did he know you were going to be at that theater? Uh, well, I, I go to the movies every year on my birthday. In fact, he called me up this week to find out what my birthday movie was going to be. You're not mad? Oh, man. I can't tell you. That was one of the best times I ever had. It was. You know, I knew something must be rotten in Denmark. There was no way you could like me that much. I mean, I can't tell you how relieved I was when you took off your dress. You, you didn't have a dick. Stop being so fucking calm about all this. Go look in your house. There's a note on your TV, and all it says is Dear Clarence, because I couldn't run anymore. So I just said, Alabama, come clean. And just tell him what's what. And if he tells you to go back to Drexel and fuck yourself, then go back to Drexel and fuck yourself. Drexel? What's what's a Drexel? Please shut up. I'm trying to come clean, OK? I've been a call girl for exactly four days, and you're my third customer. I want you to know that I'm not damaged goods. I'm not what they call Florida white trash. I'm a really good person. And when it comes to relationships, I'm 100%. I'm 100% monogamous. You stay with one guy? Exactly. I'm with you, and I'm with you. And I don't want anybody else. Now, I gotta tell you something else. Said last night was one of the best times you ever had. Did you mean physically? Uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the whole night. I mean, I, I never had as much fun with the girls I had with you my whole life. <laughs> it's true. I, you like Elvis. You like, you like Janice. You like uh, kung fu movies. You like the Partridge Family. <laughs> Actually, Star Trek. I don't like the Partridge Family. That was part of the act. I feel really goofy saying this after only knowing you one night. <laughs> Me being a call girl. But I think I love you. Wait a second. Look, I'm trying to keep this whole thing in perspective. You just said you love me. Now, if I say I love you and just throw caution in the wind and let the chips fall where they may, you're lying to me, I'm gonna fucking die. I'm not lying to you. And I swear from this moment forth, I'll never lie to you again. <laughs> uh, well, hello, Mr. Worley. Mr. Worley. Oh, for the morning, Mr. Worley. Bottom of the night, Mr. Worley. By the way, have you seen your lovely little wife today? Are you speaking to my beautiful, charming, sexy wife, Mrs. Alabama Worley? Why, are there any others, Mr. Worley? No, not for me, no. No. Yes. No? 